वॉट इज द एम ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इट इज टू डिटरमाइन द मैग्नेटो रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ एल एस एम ओ सैम्पल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज एल एस एम ओ इट इज लैंथनम स्ट्रॉन्शियम मैंगनीज ऑक्साइड दैट इज अ पॉलीक्रिस्टलाइन मैग्नेटिक सैम्पल हैविंग रॉम्बोहाइड्रल स्ट्रक्चर क्वेश्चन नेम द अपैरट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वी विल बी यूजिंग फोर प्रोप अरेंजमेंट एल एस एम ओ सैम्पल करेंट सोर्स वोल्टेज सोर्स पावर सप्लाई इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट सेटअप इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेट मॉडल गॉस मीटर एंड अ सॉफ्टवेयर नेक्स्ट गिव द फॉर्मूला रिक्वायर so these are the two formulas that will be needed in this experiment and we will be determining the change in resistivity with respect to the change in magnetic field state the experimental procedure so as far as procedure is concerned i saw few videos of this experiment and even read few pdfs of the same but although the procedure was more or less same but it somehow differed and a week ago when i had to perform this experiment then again the procedure was a bit different anyways so the experiment is basically divided into two parts the first is calibration of magnetic field and the second is measurement of resistance first we will keep the distance fixed and vary the current and then we will keep the current fixed and vary the distance so the steps you need to follow is keep the distance between magnetic pole pieces of about 2 cm next place the gauss meter probe and measure the magnetic field as a function of current that is change the value of current and note down the corresponding value of magnetic field this will finish the calibration part now you need to place the sample in the four probe arrangement and put it between the pole pieces of the magnet in a perpendicular direction note down the values of the resistance or either you can go with the values of voltage and current and then calculate resistance in the next part you will have to vary the distance between the magnetic pole pieces by keeping the current constant and note down the values of magnetic field and also the value of resistance so this will complete the procedure then you will have the observation table for the calibration part that is current and the magnetic field and the second table will be the table where you have measured the resistance value here r not is the resistance without magnetic field so two graphs will be obtained the first will be the b versus i graph and the second will be the change in resistance versus the magnetic field graph result of this experiment is changes in resistivity values were observed with changing the magnitude of applied magnetic field precautions that one needs to take in this experiment is first of all use proper sample and keep it at a perpendicular direction to the magnetic field and the second thing is while making changes in the distance make change from both the sides and not just one So that was all about this experiment thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe to Solely Science